with Marjorie. So today we're going to do a sausage casserole, sausage and bacon bits casserole. Um, it's one of my favourite things, um, particularly great in the winter. And it's based on a Delia Smith recipe. So we are going to start off with the sausages. I'm doing this for about eight people and I've got um, uh, ten sausages. Um, but you know, it's up to you, but that, that's what I do. Um, I've got 10 sausages and I've got uh, 400 grams of shallots. And I've got, see, bacon bits here, um, uh, 400 grams of bacon bits. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to brown the sausages um, in a frying pan. Don't get it too, too hot. Um, so I'll just turn the frying pan on. There we go. Right. I'm going to add um, a little bit of oil. There we are. And then when that comes up to sort of medium heat, we're just going to brown the sausages. So you're not cooking them, you're just literally getting some colour on as, as much of them as you can. and your bacon bits, um, you can peel your shallots. I find my eyes water terribly when I'm peeling shallots. They seem to be um, more vicious than, than big onions I tend to cook with. So, what I, I, and these are particularly big ones, but often you'll find them much, much smaller and fiddly and right pain. Um, and so, one of the easiest ways I've found is to use boiling water pour it over the shallots here. There we go. And just leave them for, for, for a moment or two. It just seems to soften them up, make them much easier and quicker to peel. Right, I can hear my pan here to bubble, so let's add the sausages. Um, now I've got a big frying pan here, so I can do them all in one go. You might find you know, you, you, you need to do a couple of those, that's absolutely fine. Right, let's put that away. Okay, so the shallots. Um, I'm going to put my glasses on to try and protect my eyes a bit from the shallots. Now I can hear the sausages um, cooking a little bit too hot. If they, cook, if they cook too quickly, the skins burst. So it's better to just turn down a bit. And be patient. Right, so I'm just going to drop my knife. It's not good. Quickly wipe that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to peel my shallots. Now, in these huge shallots, you'll find that some, you'll, you'll often get sort of two bits to it, and that's great um, because you don't really want mammoth. I've got to take this off the top, see. You don't want mammoth, mammoth shallots because in your casserole they're going to essentially be the size that you put them in, so you don't want huge ones. That, that one's alright, but this is too big, so I'm going to cut them in half. Now, you, some supermarkets sell these already done. You can find them already done at the rates. Um, you know, what a wonderful, easy thing to do to just get them pre-peeled, pre frankly. I think sometimes they're in the freezer section, I'm not entirely sure. Right. So, I've got these amazing tongs. It's a very useful piece of kitchen equipment. Okay, I'm going to turn these over. And it's going to be a bit of colour on each side. There we go. Okay. Let me get some more colour. And just carry on 
peeling the blade out. Um, uh, today I make a huge batch of sausage casserole. Um, and I've already got one lot in the oven, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'll finish showing you how you finish off the casserole. Because I'm then going to put them all in the freezer. Um, November now, and I like to start stocking up my freezer for Christmas when I finally have lots of visitors and I don't want to be cooking. I want to just have easy meals so I can take out the freezer, you know, reheat, um, and uh, they're perfect for a big group of friends. Okay. So here we go. So I should think these are called elephant shots, I'm not sure they're so enormous. They're the only ones I could get today. You can use the little tiny, um, very round button onions if you prefer. But these huge ones I'm actually quartering. I'm keeping the legs though so because they tend to keep their shape better. Here's that. A more traditionally shaped round. Probably rainy day, so it's probably nice to be in the kitchen cooking. Aha, so again, there, the little bowl has come off. Okay. And then I'm going to just peel one clove of garlic to add uh, to my shallots. Right, let's see how those sausages are doing. For this dish, you ideally need a casserole um, dish to cook it in. This is a big, heavy, I'm not sure if it's on a crew though, but it's essentially like those. So I'm now going to move, just check my sausages a little bit. I'm going to move my brown sausages and just put them into the pan, ready for all the other ingredients. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to add my bacon bits, um, because you know I always go to butcher, so I got these from the bacon bits from the butcher, which is always delicious. Um, but, and so they, they're diced in quite large pieces, which I like. But um, you know, you can use pancetta, cubes of pancetta that you go in the supermarket, or choose the bacon lard on, or you can just get some bacon and cut it up. But it's not quite as satisfactory. Particularly if you're using supermarket bacon, it seems to shrink it to nothing. Um, okay. So again, we're just browning these. Um, you, know, you, 
could just have a couple of gluten free sausages ready for us. If you're giving this to friends and one of them is gluten free, just cook a couple of sausages separately and give them all the, the lovely base of your casserole. And just, well, oh, actually, you probably can't because I'm going to add flour and mustard powder. So, that up, sorry, not, not suitable. <laughs> right, okay, so I've cut up my mushrooms, let's see how they can tray. And then just turn this up again. I, uh, I want a bit of colour on my baby. Okay. Just uh, add all that thing. I've got my sloppy spoon here again. This is such a useful piece of kitchen kit. And I'm just going to add my baking to my sausages. Just add Shallots and um, the clove of garlic. Again, you're just going to need a cook, a, just get a little bit of colour on them. You know, you're just softening them up a little bit, not excessively. Which I seem to often do. Right, okay, so I'm just going to turn that. 
yourself now. And we're going to pour this water in. Gently melt my butter. I 
know my mushrooms haven't been cooking for 20 minutes and I'm so I'll cheat a bit and uh, just show you the next bit of the recipe. I'm going to recook this so it doesn't actually matter that much about because the mushrooms are going to be cooked again. Right. So, oh, it's heavy. Take your glass from out. Mmm, that's so good. Get my trusty spoon and I'm going to take out the sausages and some of the onions and mushrooms and really just allows me to have some space to thicken my sauce because at the moment the sauce is very very thin okay. now the other thing you can do at this point is you can cut your sausages in half um, it's up to you I, I think I'll probably keep these whole but some people prefer it the sausage is cut in half. Okay, that will do. I've still got lots in here, as you can see, but um, I've got space to stir it all around. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the heat. Just let 
And there you've got your delicious sausage and bacon casserole. And I would serve that probably with mashed potatoes, salad or some nice greens, um, or otherwise with pasta. Um, and I think actually my children would prefer it with pasta. Um, so I do hope you enjoy it. Thank you.